I'm somewhere in the middle Try to find myself again Hey guys, I hope you're ready for a super filthy extreme whole house clean with me. This video, I did not have intentions of it being filthy filthy cleaning at all but i found some really gross messes in my home as i was cleaning one in particular was in the bathroom and i was so grossed out by it so get ready for a lot of deep cleaning getting into the nitty gritty and getting things done it will be so satisfying as i check things off of my to-do list and i hope i can motivate you to create a to-do list of your own and get at least one thing done today so let's do this guys So this will be cleaning over two days, like a two day span. And you guys know how it goes with me. Even when I clean in one day, it's literally cleaning all day long on and off as I do, you know, other mom things. But I started out on day one by pulling all of the bedding off of our beds. I wanted to get them all washed. And I find that if I pull all of the bedding off first thing in the morning, that I'm more likely to get things done get things done and get all done if i throw our bedding if i throw like our master bedding in first and then wait for that to be done before i put in avery's or the twins bedding i feel like sometimes i get sidetracked and it doesn't get done so if i pull it all off put it in the hallway it always gets done my list of things I wanted to accomplish over the next two days I had a lot I wanted to do and I will give you guys a little spoiler alert I wasn't even able to finish this list there was one thing that I wasn't able to accomplish um, because I ended up spending more time when I found those filthy gross messes in my home um, and I'm not lying to you guys um, I had not planned on cleaning my dishwasher but when I went to unload it in the morning which you'll see here in a minute I noticed how most of the dishes were not fully cleaned so I decided to deep clean the dishwasher and then um, I found some other messes that I needed to tend to. So I was using my new handy steam cleaner, my handheld steam cleaner to clean the bathroom. And then when I got under the toilet, I'm sorry if you're eating or anything or this is too gross, but pee was coming out from under the toilet, which you'll see that as well. It's lovely, um, but it's real life, I guess. I hope it's real life for everyone and not just me, but stay tuned for a lot of satisfying cleaning all over my home. If you guys have never been to my channel, I want to introduce myself. I hope when you come to my channel, you feel motivated and inspired. You feel like you're a part of a team, part of a community because you belong here. And I want to build a community that will help you in some way. Life is not easy. I know it's not. And I'm not perfect, but I just try my best every day. And I want to motivate you guys to get things done, even if it's little by little. I'm always here for you guys. Message me if you have an issue, a problem but I would love to have you guys join my journey. I'm a busy mom to three kids, so life is crazy, but we are in this together. Okay, so you saw how dirty my dishwasher was. Well, that dishwasher was quote unquote clean. That stuff was stuck on there even after it ran a full cycle. So I decided it obviously needed clean. This was a not on my list of things to do, but obviously it needed to be done. So I first pulled out the filter and then cleaned that. Luckily it came clean pretty quickly just by rinsing and then I started to wipe things out um, but there was just so much gunk on the dishwasher 
And I was like, I think I have the tool for this job. I recently got a handheld steamer and it's the Bissell Steam Shot. And I got that baby out and I knew it would take care of the job. So I honestly don't know what's on the dishwasher door, but on the side where it looks like it's brown or black, that's coffee. It's not mold or anything, it's coffee. But how crazy is it that specifically on the door that all of that stuff was stuck on there because you know how hot it gets in a dishwasher. But I will tell you that after, a fully after I fully cleaned out the filter and then I did another full clean, like a clean cycle when I emptied um, or when I got done cleaning this, the next day when I emptied the dishwasher, everything was nice and clean. I'll have my Instagram right here. I would love to have you guys come over and follow me over there. And if you do, make sure you say hi. it's just so crazy to me because if i didn't have the steam cleaner can you imagine how much or how long it would have taken me to clean this so once i was done with the dishwasher i have these little packets called lemmy shine i think that's the brand i got it from target you just sprinkle it in the bottom i know you can do vinegar and baking soda but I found these and I just wanted to try them. I've had them actually in my cleaning cabinet for a while. You sprinkle it in the bottom of your dishwasher and you run it. Um, I just figured a little extra clean couldn't hurt. Um, but I was really motivated to use a steamer in other places in my home after the dishwasher. So you'll see me clean the bathroom here in a minute. And I was also going to clean some window tracking. But after using it in the bathroom, it sealed the deal. And I'm so glad I have this. Maybe you got me. so before i got to more deep cleaning i wanted to um, kind of pick up the living room because originally i kind of or what i normally do is i'll clean up the kitchen like pick things up off of the floor and the countertops in the kitchen and in the living room but i got sidetracked with my gross dishwasher so i finished up cleaning the living room um, and i was having avery help me and then I was going to do a few more things in the kitchen, like wiping things down, vacuuming, mopping, 
wiping down the stove and the cabinets but i'm using my jaws granite cleaner for the countertops and then the jaws kitchen degreaser for my stovetop the stovetop ended up not being perfect perfectly clean i probably could have scrubbed it more um, but honestly i had other things i needed to move on to so sometimes i can't be perfect with everything it was good enough i think the kitchen degreaser did a pretty good job so that was my stove Baby, you got me. So I was planning on wiping down this bathroom. Um, it's the bathroom that's off of our kitchen and it gets used the most. So I was coming in here to kind of do a basic clean and I wasn't planning on doing anything too crazy in here, but I figured I would try the steamer out under the toilet because I always take a wipe and I'll get under there, but I figured why not use the steamer um, since there's that little crack, you know, where it meets the floor. And honestly, you guys, I did not expect pee to be flying out from under the toilet. I know it makes perfect sense, but it was so gross. And I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of you moms who have boys and you're probably like, yep, that's our every day. But I had, I just couldn't believe it. So um, I had a lot more on my to-do list, but I cannot wait to use all of, to use a steamer under all of the other toilets in my house. I'm sure you guys will see a lot more. Sorry if you guys think that it's gross because it is gross but i guess i'm just showing you real life messes i hope i hope it's not just me When I was done with the bathroom, I cleaned the tip of the steamer, did that, um, but I wanted to try it out in the window tracking, um, and yes, there's still a little pumpkin on our front porch. I don't know why, but there is. <laughs> but anyway, I had a lot of you guys tell me that you like using the steamer in the window tracking, so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, and so my window trackings weren't too bad, but they were dirty, so I opened up our windows. It was cold outside and I used it on the tracking and it did a pretty good job. So I just sprayed the steamer and then wiped everything out with some paper towels. And so there's some more cleaning here um, on day one that you're gonna see. And then in day two of cleaning, you're gonna see me clean more upstairs. Avery's going to help me clean our basement. That's always a fun, messy area transformation when you see all of the toys getting picked up. So stay tuned for a lot more cleaning.
I'm looking for a brand new start. I know I got some trouble getting over you. I think that I have played my part. I need to get away somewhere far from you. I'm a buy, I'm a buy plane ticket. Run away by myself for a minute. I don't have, I don't have any limits. Ooh, ooh. I'm looking for a place where I can. always asking me how do you keep your house clean or I'll get questions about does your house get messy as soon as you're done cleaning and the answer is 100% yes so I am in the middle of continuing and cleaning down here and already there's a mess going on right here because of kids um, Avery's working on some schoolwork right now, doing some activities and stuff like that. She had a little snack, some peppers and ranch, which um, she just ran to the bathroom, so she's gonna clean it up. But I feel like <laughs> I clean, and then there's kids right behind me making more messes. Um, but the cleaning has to be done. So yes, my house never stays clean for very long. put Avery on the task to clean her room. So that's what she was doing. And if you're wondering, Mike was with the twins. He took them over to his parents to hang out and visit. So it was just me and Avery. But one of the last things I wanted to do in the kitchen was wipe down some of the cabinets. When I was steaming the dishwasher, some gunk had sprayed out um, onto the white cabinets. So I wanted to wipe around the dishwasher and then the island because the island always gets messy. We're always cooking and standing around the island. So I was kind of spot cleaning the areas in the kitchen that needed to be spot cleaned. And if you're wondering, I'm using Dawn dish soap and water on a microfiber cloth to clean my cabinets. And I do this because our cabinets were recently painted in the fall and the painting company specifically said to use a mild cleaner nothing too crazy so i didn't want to use anything too abrasive and i just feel like i mean dawn is a pretty neutral cleaner it's a great cleaner but also neutral and not abrasive so that's what i was using So I wasn't originally planning on vacuuming and mopping during this time of the day. Usually I wait until later at night after the kids go to bed because the floor always gets messy and dirty during dinner time. So, especially with the toddlers. However, they were out of the house, so I felt like I needed to capitalize on the time that I had, the free time that I had. So I just quickly um, wiped out my sink, which I pretty much do every single day, and then I was going to vacuum and mop.
So how are you guys doing in the new year? Do you have any goals, new year goals or resolutions? I know some people are goal makers, resolution makers, and some are not. I'm not a big one to make resolutions or goals, but I kind of use the new year as a way to reevaluate my life and what my routines look like and what do I want to add? What do I want to take out? I'm a very regimented person and routine person. So if it's in my routine, I stick to it and I get it done. Um, like you guys know that I, I love to work out and I have my workout routines and I work out, you know, four or five days a week and I set the days that I'm going to work out. And on those days, I almost always get the workout done because that's part of my daily routine. So it's a, if I have a good habit, I always get those good habits done. But if I have a bad habit or something that's not so great, it stays in my routine, if that makes sense. So I kind of look at the new year as a way to improve, um, alter my routines, um, look at what I want to accomplish. So for 2021, I was kind of looking at my overall health. So skincare, I want to look at my skincare and anti-aging and what products I want to add or implement into my nightly and morning routines to make my skin look and feel better. And then the same thing with my body. You know, I have a pretty strict workout routine that I stick to that I know is good physically, but I also want to focus more on, you know, mental health and um, make sure I'm getting all of the right nutrients when I'm eating. So I've kind of been playing around with maybe doing daily smoothies or juicing or those type of things so then that way I can make for sure every single day I'm getting in a vegetable and a fruit and that type of thing so that's kind of what I'm focusing on so I can be a better person better mom better wife better friend um, better daughter all of that but um, let me know if you guys have any The last thing I wanted to do on day one was put the master bedding back on. And then when Mike got home, he was going to put on the twins and Avery's bedding, which I always let him do because I hate putting bedding on bunk beds. day two of tackling the to-do list so what do i what do we have on the agenda for today clean the master bathroom including the shower because i don't always do that because i hate doing it fold a laundry I have a couple loads to fold clean the basement i'm gonna have avery join me we're gonna clean the basement clean the twins room and make some crock pot chicken noodle soup. So that's on the agenda, the agenda for today. I'm ready to get this list done. So on day two, we got started in the basement just because it was the biggest mess and I wanted to knock it out. And if you're wondering why Avery is wearing the same clothes or most of the same clothes as she did the day before, I'm sure you guys didn't even notice, but it's actually really cute. We went to Target the other day and she has been begging me for workout clothes, just like mom. So she actually has on what are considered workout legging workouts um, for little girls it's i think they're all in motion brand at target so she got some leggings um, and a cute little workout top and she's just been wearing them every single day which i think is adorable Maybe he ain't worth it Too bad I 
<laughs> you guys left a, um, a lot of sweet messages in one of my recent videos. I think I was defending myself about picking up after my kids and so many of you guys were like, you don't need to explain yourself. You know, um, like whatever you choose to do, it's your life, you know? And I appreciate those comments um, and I totally agree. I don't, I mean, I don't have to explain myself and I really don't feel the need that I have to. And I don't really care what other people do in their life. Um, but you guys were so sweet. And I just, um, I mean, I appreciate all of those comments. But sometimes I explain myself just because I will get a lot of comments. And it's easier almost just to explain it. So I don't get all of the comments, if that makes sense. Or another common thing I get is when I explain if Mike's with the kids or whatever. The reason why I do that is not because I'm trying to defend myself, but more so because I get comments. Probably the number one question I get is, how do you do it all with your three kids? And it's like most people don't, unless you're a, you've are you been a longtime follower of mine, you know, you don't see my husband, you don't see him. So it's almost like if you don't see him, you don't think he exists. Um, and I know how that feels when you're watching YouTube videos. So a lot of people will watch my channel and they're like, how do you get it done with three kids? And I don't want to create this fallacy that I'm just getting all my whole house clean. It's so easy with three kids because there'd be no way I could do this. If Avery wasn't in school and my kids didn't nap, the twins didn't nap three hours in the afternoon or Mike wasn't home, um, he works from home and he has a pretty flexible schedule. He works in international business, so he works late sometimes when he's dealing with other countries and different time zones. So he has a pretty flexible schedule during the day, so that's how I can get it done. That's why I kind of explain that a lot. Um, and yeah, either way, all of your sweet comments always make my day, and I love um, reading through those. But I love this supportive community here. Thank you. To wipe down my bathroom, the vanity in the shower, I was using using the Jaws Foaming Bathroom Cleaner. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but I'll have a 25% off discount code you can use. And I know I say this all of the time, so I'm sorry if it's annoying, but I always wanna be transparent. If I'm pushing a product, I will let you know if I'm sponsored or if I make you know a commission off of it, but um, I don't make anything from Jaws. Like I don't make a commission. It's not an affiliate link. So just sharing it with you because I think they're great products. Um, but sometimes I like to quickly wipe down my bathroom with a Clorox wipe, but I feel like I can't do that every single week. Sometimes it's nice to just go in with a good cleaner. Saw you, those green eyes caught me. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a Friday night when I first kissed you. You struck me like lightning. You broke my chains and released me. And, and stay tuned for the crock pot chicken noodle soup that I will be making on this day. And I'll show you this amazing vegetable chopper, this game changing little thing that makes me kind of enjoy cooking, even though I hate it. So stay tuned. When I was done in the master bathroom, I ran into the twins' room and picked things off, up off of the floor. Their bedroom never takes me too long because it's always just like random stuff that I can quickly put away. Um, and then I was going to use that Tide antibacterial spray to spray down their, their stuffed animals. And I've been better at washing them, washing their stuffed animals frequently, but I also like to spray this on there from time to time in between washes um, because I think it's a good product. And then I was using the Mrs. Myers in the lavender scent to wipe down their dresser. And I love keeping the lavender scent upstairs. I don't know why, but I like to pick certain scents for different areas of my home. No 
So I wanted to make a crock pot chicken noodle soup. It's honestly one of our family favorites because everyone loves it. And who doesn't love a good chicken noodle soup in the winter? So um, do I do want to tell you guys about this little chopper. I got it off at Amazon and it's amazing and game changing because I hate to cook. I hate to chop. I hate all of what cooking entails. And so with this little thing, all you have to do is you put your vegetable in there and it chops it up. So I'm showing you carrots, which is a little bit more difficult because they're long. So you have to actually cut them first. But like with onions, I will take an onion, cut it in fours, and then just put a big chunk in there and it cuts right through it, like super thick, cuts right through it. It honestly cuts chopping in less than half. Like it makes me not dread cooking um, or adding extra vegetables because I have this thing. So I will have it linked down below, but it's seriously an amazing product. But I will also have the recipe. It's an easy recipe because that's how I roll. Easy recipe, simple ingredients, and I will have this recipe in the description. It is the end of day two of filming um, and I'm gonna be completely honest with you I am NOT able to finish my list <laughs> um, and the thing that's hard about this is the, the the one chore that I'm not able to finish is laundry you know like if it was the master bathroom to be honest with you I'd just be like let it go no big deal I'll do it next week um, but laundry is the one task that I was planning on doing kind of last and the day got away from me. Um, dinner came quicker. Uh, Addison was a little cranky. Um, she's teething and so we just didn't get to it. Um, so and unfortunately like laundry like it's gonna need to be done. <laughs> so um, today is just not that day. <laughs> Uh, and I just wanted to be real. I feel bad that I'm not able to get it done. Um, so yeah, I was able to get everything else off of my list, but I think um, Mike is going to go ahead and fold the laundry later tonight. He's going to do some late night work. Um, if you guys aren't, if you don't know, um, he's currently working from home right now, um, but he works for, he's a financial analyst, works with numbers. He has a d degree in finance. Um, he's done investing. Um, all of that type of stuff and right now um, it's a busy time for him and he works with, uh, with an international business I mean it's the headquarters are in Ohio um, but they work with a it's a global company so he has some meetings late tonight so after that I think he is going to go ahead and fold the laundry so if I have some clips of that I'll get him um, but yeah I'm not able to finish the list but that's okay that's what happens that's real life especially with kids or even if you don't have kids sometimes it's just like you can't do it and i'm pretty tired today so i'm gonna go ahead and relax for the rest of the night and just let the laundry wait for mike <laughs> or wait until tomorrow it'll be there so anyways i just wanted to close up the video and tell you guys it was a pretty successful day just didn't get that laundry done. I hope you guys found this video motivating. I hope you'll stick around. I hope you'll subscribe. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. I'm somewhere in the middle. Try to find myself again. But life is one big rhythm.